anyways now that I'm done with my look um I don't know what I was gonna say hi my name is Robin Nicolette and as the title explained I'm about to show you guys a get ready with me I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to comment down below like and subscribe and if you guys would like to see more videos please comment down below what kind of videos and enjoy so anyways, the first thing that I'm going to do before I get into my makeup is I'm going to grab my Aveeno moisturizer and I'm going to apply it to my face. I'm not going to lie, I am pretty oily, so it may come to as a shock to most of you guys that I'm actually like using moisturizer, but I find it really helps my skin throughout the day and I feel like it really helps. I'm going to put some more because I didn't put on enough, but I really like the moisturizer and I feel like it's really good for my skin. Especially every day. Plus, I always see these people on YouTube and they're like, well, I'm on YouTube, but I always see people on YouTube and they're like, oh, moisturize your face every day. And ever since I've been doing that, my face hasn't been breaking out too bad. Second thing I'm going to do after I usually apply my, um, my moisturizer is I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Wiz. I don't feel the need to go into, like, depth and, like, not, like, depth, but I've seen people on YouTube and they go like that. No hate to people who do, but I just feel like I dropped it. But anyway, I just feel like I don't really need to be zooming up. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't, like, most of you guys probably know what it looks like. So anyways, if you guys don't know what it looks like, just go down below to the links. Or I think that's what it's called. Ah, I'm new to YouTube, don't stress. But go down to the bottom and you guys can see the link for this eyebrow wiz. And yeah. But I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera, so... So now that I did my eyebrows, I'm going to apply the concealer for you guys. I figured I could do it in front of you guys, but not that I'm not allowed to do it in front of you guys. I just mean like I can like apply it in front of you guys. Anyways, I'm going to apply not this one. Actually, I am. I'm so dumb sometimes. Um, I'm going to apply, it's called Skin Better Super Stay. They're both like drugstore concealers. Um, I personally don't believe in like buying two expensive like concealers when I can get the same quality at Walgreens so not about that bougie life but I am about that when it comes to eyeshadow just not like concealer and stuff anyways so I'm gonna just I apply the 50 and the 60 I'm just gonna mix 50 and 60 and 50 is a lighter one for me I'm usually 60 when I apply it to my face and right now I'm just gonna use my mirror and if I'm looking off this way it's because I'm using my um shoot why am I forgetting the name of it I'm using my mirror I don't know if you guys can see it like that right there yeah I'm using it and I'm going to be applying concealer to underline my eyebrows just to, like make it pop and then also to like the outer part just to like really make it all precise so uh, I almost died so here I go I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen this on like YouTube for videos I've watched, but sometimes I'll make like big mistakes and I've kind of like, okay, don't judge me for what I'm about to do, but I kind of like to think of my concealer as like an eraser because sometimes I'll make like big mistakes with my eyebrows and I'll make them too choppy or too just too big or something will be wrong with them that I don't like and because of that I like to use my concealer to conceal all the mistakes that I made I'm gonna use my other one I'm gonna fix this little like curve just hold on a second I'm just gonna try to fix the rest of myself I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my finger is better than like doing it with um, a brush when I like blend it out. And you see how I just like I messed up a little bit? I'm just gonna go like that and I feel like it like kind of covers it because when I'm like looking at people, although they see my brow, I don't think they're gonna be like, wow, there's that one concealer that you missed and it all been your brow. Like, no. But anyways, I did my brows and I like 
think I did them pretty well. The next step I'm going to do is... Now, this part, it really doesn't matter, but I personally think that a lighter shade would work better. Especially if you're darker toned, it's going to be a lot nicer using a, a lighter shade so the eyeshadows really come up. Because sometimes, especially if you're using like some drugstore brands, they won't show up as clearly on darker skin. I know I don't have like too darker skin, but I know sometimes I'll buy like makeup on the go and it will not show up well. So anyways, I just, again, I just applied my Better Than Skin makeup to this one, or my concealer, the lighter shade. Now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender. I don't know what brand this is from, but I just know I got it at Target. And I hope it doesn't look like I'm doing it too harsh, but I'm just going to apply it to my eye just so I can get like an even tone. Oh my gosh, I feel like I did not even know that, but anyway. After I apply my concealer, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to apply that to my eyelid. And you don't have to do this step, I just do it because I feel like it really makes the eyeshadow I'm about to use like pop. It like, I feel like it helps a lot. So now that I applied the Laura Mercier, I'm going to take my Anastasia the Glow Kit. And shout out to all the homegirls who like remember when this was like the, I can't want to say cosmetics, but when this was like the shiz. And like I remember when everyone wanted this palette, they had like the dark, light, and mediums. And like now no one talks about it, but I'm just saying I remember. I'm still there. Like. I got this when it first came out and I still have a hit pan so I'm not even mad though but anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my I really don't know what this brush is I got it off of Amazon but I'm gonna take the bronze color in the dark I think this is a dark shade but or in the dark highlighting highlight kit and I'm gonna take the bronze color and I'm just gonna dab my brush into it and then this one because it's a highlighter it doesn't really come off as like pigmented as I want so I kind of have to keep going into it so I'm just gonna apply it I have like a little layer sort of with like the eyeshadow I believe I think I do but I'm still just gonna go in just to make sure I don't want people coming at me in the comments like look at her eyeshadow it looks crusty Usually after I'm done finishing my eyeshadow, what I do is I like to take, what do I do? Oh, I like to take my primer and prime my face. Where did I put it? Oh, I found it. So I like to take this Coconut Skim Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. It's by, I think it's by Hello Fab or like First Aid Beauty, something like that. And I got this from Sephora in the, not the mail, but I got it in Sephora as a sample at first before I like initially used it. And I don't know. At first, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about it, but I ended up falling in love with it. And like, I'm pretty sure you could use this as a moisturizer as well instead of a primer, but or not instead of a primer, but you can use this as a moisturizer along with a primer. But I just like to use it as a primer. I know I already moisturize my face, but I don't. I don't want to mix this with like putting on moisturizer even at night. So anyway, now that I'm done applying my primer, I know I look oily by the way, but trust me, it's gonna all go away. Hopefully, just kidding, it will. And now that I'm done applying my primer, I'm going to take my, hold on, it's like an Urban Decay, or not Urban Decay, yeah it is. I'm gonna take my Naked Skin, and it's like a color correcting, not fluid, but like concealer thing, and it's colored peach. And like at first, when I was like, kind of new to all of this I was like what the heck is this but I'm not gonna lie I, I didn't think it would work but it's actually worked miracles and I really love it so I'm gonna apply this to all my dark areas like under my eye of course yeah. Yeah. 
And though I know I look funky, but just wait and hold on. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend in everything. After I do this, I'm just going to take my, I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I'm going to use the color 60, not 50, so that's my regular shade and I'm not going to lie, I know this, I don't know if this comes as like a shock or if most people do this, but I don't use foundation, I just use my concealer. I don't know, I just don't like how, I feel like the foundation comes off that's like really cakey when I try it and I haven't found like a good foundation to use. So if anyone has any like recommendations, please hit me up in the, the comments below. So I've been looking for something nice and like my face gets really oily so. I don't like putting any makeup right here on my forehead and I know that comes as a I feel like it comes as a big shock because like every time I look at tutorials I always see people like covering up their forehead and like I'm just gonna say it now I don't I just I feel like it breaks me out and every time I used when I used to try to do it and like copy other tutorials it would break me out so bad so I was just like no it's okay I like having a smooth forehead usually this is like this isn't it for me but usually for concealer wise and like makeup wise this is like what i do but if you want to apply highlight and contour then you can but that's just personally that's not what i would like to do or that's like not how i try to go with my look so i usually just keep it with just one concealer tone no highlight or contour and then so now after i applied all of this i'm going to take my warm mercier powder I'm just gonna set it all with that. I'm just gonna take my Morphe brush and just put it in there. And I don't even know if this is the right one, but like it works, so it's whatever. And I'm just gonna apply it in. And like in real life, I feel like on camera, I don't know if it is, but I hope not, I can't really see, but on camera it should show up as like even because that's how it's showing up on my face. It's not two tones and so usually this is like the end for foundation wise at least for me and or at least for me this is like the end and now I'm just gonna apply my mascara off camera and then I'm gonna talk to you guys look now and I hope you guys enjoyed that if you like it please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>